Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in as we wrap up our look at the Ten Commandments and your word for the day here today. And I have a question as we get started. Have you ever wanted something that someone else had? Of course you have. And it probably started early. See, I remember being eight or nine years old and being jealous of a few of my friend's bikes. Surprise, surprise, I like two-wheeled items. Uh, but one of my friends had this really awesome full suspension mountain bike. It not only had front shocks, but it had a back shock as well. And the other friend had this really awesome BMX bike that you could take off of jumps. And I wanted so badly to have both, but especially to have a full suspension mountain bike. And I wanted it so bad, I decided to get this super junky bike made by a company called Next. And, and I decided to settle on a cheaper bike to get one that was full suspension. And I discovered a few uh, days or weeks later why it was named Next, because after just a few days of riding, I was already needing my Next bike already. Now, thankfully, we were able to return it and get a simpler, less cool, but much higher quality bike that lasted a long time. But I learned something in that. And I learned that, that I was disappointed at my experience because I was fully motivated by the envy I had for what someone else possessed. And the 10th commandment addresses this. It says, you shall not com covet your, your neighbor's house. Do not covet your neighbor's wife or his male servant or his female servant or his ox or his donkey or anything else that is your neighbor's. But let's translate that for a moment. Let's instead read it like this. Don't be jealous of your neighbor's house with the double RV garage or your neighbor's wife or your neighbor's successful business or his car or his boat or his off-road toy or anything else that is your neighbor's. Now that hits a little different, doesn't it? Because I can honestly say I have never been envious of my neighbor's ox or donkey, ever. But I can certainly say that I've been guilty of being envious of people's trucks and off-road toys and even at times their home. Why is this important? Why is envy such a bad thing for us that is listed in the Ten Commandments? Well, first, I believe that envy makes us lose sight of God's provision for our life. The book of James says that every good and perfect thing is from God. So all the good that we have, all of the blessings, all of the, the things that we have are ultimately given to us by God. And Jesus, on multiple occasions, explains that God is responsible to provide for our needs. So when we are envious of other people's things, we're accusing God of being bad at providing for us. We're saying, God, you're not doing a good enough job because if you were, I would have those things over there. Instead, we should be thanking and praising God for how good he is and the fact that he loves us and provides for us the way he has. But secondly, being envious of stuff puts the emphasis on the wrong thing, the stuff. Matthew 6, Jesus talks about this and asks why we're so stressed about our food and our clothing and the stuff of our life when God is actively providing those things for the birds and the animals of our world. And he says this to close it out. He says, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. So our motivation in life shouldn't be pursuing bigger homes and nicer trucks and faster toys and, and shinier boats, but it should be in chasing after God and seeking to glorify and honor him with our life. And in doing so, we store up treasure in heaven, as Jesus says. Instead of treasure, storing up treasure on earth where moth and rust destroy, or maybe for us, where heat and sun destroy. So let me encourage you today to let go of that desire to keep up with the Joneses or that desire to get more stuff, thinking that you'll find joy in possessions because the only place that we'll find joy is seeking God and his glory. So I pray today that you pursue God and that you would store up your treasure in heaven and that you would find your heart your joy, your meaning, and belonging in Him. Have a great day, Calvary.